Hey everybody, Hard Tech Gun is back, and I am bringing you the Transformers Collectors Club subscription service 4.0 fourth figure. And who's it gonna be? Let's find out! have the fourth Transformers Collectors Club subscription service 4.0 figure. And let's go ahead and pop it open, see who's it gonna be. Foam! It's Windsweeper, the fourth deluxe of the Mayhem Combiner team. Oh, look at that. We got Windsweeper here, we got his hand foot gun right here, we got his normal double barrel blaster right here, and Special little add-on, Matrix of Mallets. Nice. Actually, um, I've had this <laughs> little set for a while. And, you know, as you know, I've been kind of backed up, but I'm catching up. And uh, yeah, I've been wearing it as a necklace for the past couple weeks. Been enjoying it like that. But yeah, here we have Windsweeper and his gun. And is not his, but the team's matrix. I mean, I guess it would have been more appropriate for it to come with bludgeon, but he already came with. Well, he comes with two extra accessories already, so we'll get into that with the next review with bludgeon. But for now, here is his bio card. Let me get that stretched out. This is a nice piece of artwork. Oh, forget it. Let me just open the darn thing. Crappy plastic. Okay, so instructions. Blah. And bio card. Oh, so much cleaner. Let's get a little focus on that. Oh, so shiny. So nice. Very nice piece of artwork. I really like that. It looks like really different from. Uh, What is that one aerial bot's name? I'll, I'll get back to it later. But yeah, there's his tech specs and his description. You can go ahead and read that on your own time. Okay. Let's see, who is there? Uh, skydive, skydive. I keep kept on wanting to say deep dive or nose dive. But yeah, those are different transformer part names. But Let's get on to Windsweeper here. Um, we've got kind of a ready maroony, almost brown. Oop, let's get the tail fins down. Sorry about that. Jet mode here, where the back doesn't fully push in, but that's a, you know, kind of guilty on a lot of the molds. But the uh, the wing pattern is really nice. Really like all that detail. And of course, we got a little bit of black here, yellow cockpit, a little bit more purple on the uh, tail fins. Not a whole bunch of detail, but still an attractive uh, jet mode. Still pretty nice. And of course, he's got a blue hand foot gun, a little bit of a beigey plastic. You'll see more of the robot mode. And, uh, did I say beige? That's that's not beige, I'm sorry. <laughs> and uh, his dual blaster that also comes with uh, skydive, or pretty much any version of this mold. Or air raid. And finally, the really nice Matrix of Malice. I really, I think it goes this way. Pretty sure it goes this way. Yeah, very, very nice. Very shiny gold with green crystal in the middle. They got like green. Let me see if I can focus on that. Like green goop covering up the sides. I, I don't know why. But it's like kind of rubbery feeling. Here's the back. This enclosed a lot more on the back. See it shining through as a, with a light in my finger and stuff. Ooh. Yeah, I really, really like this little piece and that it came with the set. 
All right. Now, of course, you can put Windsweeper's weapon right there on top, or you can refocus. Put it on one of the jet wings, and he's also got his hand foot gun, same one as Skydive and all of his remolds and predecessors and such. So there you go, you got an armed up one sweeper. Ooh. Yeah. So uh, let's do some comparisons. Some nice fun comparisons. Um, first off, one of his uh, Mayhem Attack Squad buddies. In fact, if you took the time to read the bio, apparently, <coughs> excuse me, these two are friends, like good buddies. So yeah, there's uh, Ruckus or Rabooch. That's how they look together. And I also pulled out, so you can see him with the original mold. Skydive. Same features there. They both have the same hand foot gun and gun and are the same exact mold. Well, we'll get to head sculpt later. Um, this one is repro labeled, but this one is collector's club painted. So it's kind of like they each have their own good and bads on the paint job. Yeah, so there's those two. Who else did I pull out? Uh, since he's carrying pretty much Thunderwing Spark right here. I decided to pull out Deluxe Thunderwing. Not that there's an official Voyager or anything, Hasbro. Got the third party companies making some awesome looking ones, but are you, no, we get a freaking Deluxe of Thunderwing. You might as well give us a Deluxe of Unicron. Hasbro. <sighs> Well, besides that, also uh, a character in the same storyline as Windsweeper here in the Transformers comics, the Collector's Club that is, we have membership uh, exclusive club figure, Ramjet, Armada Ramjet, Armada Ramjet. Yeah, they look pretty cool together. I really like Armada Ramjet. Just wish his head wasn't cracked. And of course, Armada Ramjet comes from the uh, same mold as Armada Starscream with just a different head. So, jet mode isn't really going to be any different. And uh, that's all the comparisons I have for him. So, uh, let's go ahead and get this guy transformed real quick. He's easy to transform, so I'll just do it on camera even though this mold has been transformed a billion times and there's nothing new about it. But, uh, yeah. And you've already seen hand and, or not hand, but arm and leg mode for this guy. Just not in these colors, but during the uh, final 4.0 review, I'll make sure to show you all kinds of different versions of uh, Thunder Mayhem. That way you can see Windsweeper here as both an arm and a leg. Everybody will get their turn. Go and there we go. And there we whoop. Well, that's actually kind of a preference thing. Some people like the arm like that. But so you can do the arm like that if you like that. I prefer to do it like that. And there we have Windsweeper. Pretty, pretty cool looking bot. Pretty cool looking. Gotta say. I mean, it's not my favorite color palette, but it's still it's still kind of cool. The This weird pinkish beige color, whatever it is. I know beige isn't the right word, but uh, I'm no Crayola expert, guys. But with the, the red maroony, yeah, maroon. And uh, purple and the green. And the orange face. That is some, as toned down as they are, some nice wild colors. And I really love the whole wild color scheme. 
So yeah, in case you want to get a good look at the head sculpts, there we go. And like I said, it's just skydive with a beige e helmet and orange face and yellow eyes. But it looks a lot different from skydive. So yeah, it's pretty cool. He looks Decepticon, look at that. Even though on the bio, is, I believe it says that he was once an Autobot. But he was kind of like a bad Autobot. Bad. Yeah. Really nice looking figure. I mean, it's just a new paint job for the same mold we've been getting for over a year. Um, he can hold his weapons, of course. I like to put him like that. He doesn't have any arm ports or anything, but he does have ports back here if you want to store it. Now, unfortunately, there's only one way to store this piece right here without any additional material outside of what you got from the Collector's Club box sets or little mailings, whatever you want to call them. And that's the stored in Bludgeon's chest. I mean, the, the, otherwise, the best I can offer yet is this. That's the only way he's going to hold it. Yep, that's it. Kind of makes him back heavy, too. It is made out of die cast or something along the lines of die cast. And I'm guessing that's just a. I don't know. I don't think that's a rocket there. I think it's just plastic. But yeah, you can tell I'm really loving this little thing. But yeah, so you can store it in Bludgeon's chest. You cannot store it in Thunder Mayhem's chest. So I've got a little necklace piece for him to wear. It's just one of those little army style ball chain necklaces. But yeah, so there is Windsweeper. He has the same articulation as um, any other version of this mold. You can do this if you prefer. Makes him look cool. You can do this. Makes it look like he's got longer arms. But I like the beefed up look. And the wings back. So, let's pull out some uh, fun comparisons to mess around with. For comparison, let's pull out Skydive first. Go ahead and get you moved over. <clears throat> In the process of uh, transforming Skydive, I remembered there actually is. A place where you can store this on him in robot mode. See in there? Bloop. And the only way it's coming out is upside down. <laughs> and you gotta shake it out of there. But yeah, um, Skydive's limbs are a little bit loose even after I worked on them. So that's unfortunate, but there's worse. There's worse out there. So here we go. Skydive and Windsweeper. I got I just called him Skydive a minute ago. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know my Transformers, but dang it, when there's like 800 different names. Yeah, that's how they look together. Looking pretty cool. But you can tell how, I mean, even though this guy's got a lot more dark Decepticon colors. You can tell that like there's a very heroic looking one and a very sinister looking one. Maybe not sinister, but uh mayhemy. Alright, next up we'll uh pull out Armada Ramjet. There we go. Let's get his foot straightened up here. That's how those two look together. Just to kind of give you another Jet former. Now they're talking and plotting. Let's 
Oop, 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 oop. Grab him right. All right, who else we got? Let's pull out some Thunderwing action. And so here is, oh, tell you what. Here's a comparison between two Thunderwings. <laughs> well, let's see if they, this can fit. No, no, no. Too big for your own britches. So yeah, kind of replaced there. This is my new Thunderwing. That's how they look together. This little drone was a little loose. That's what that snap was. Alright, and finally, we will pull out his buddy to hang out with and chat with and such. Fix his head. Yep, and there they are hanging out, having a blast. They're both uh, leg guys on Thunder Mayhem so they both have the blue feet. Another reason why they're buddies, they get to hang out on his legs and chat I guess. Yeah, so that's what they look like together. Hanging out, chatting about the old days. I'm giving him a hard time because he used to be a Sep or Autobot. And he's all mad. Oh, I kicked my own buddy Spark. Yeah, there's the buddies and the Matrix. You'll be seeing the rest of the full Thunder Mayhem team after the the video I always do after a subscription service where I show off all the subscription service figures from that line and then all of them together. It's gonna get very crowded on that video. But yeah, I think that's all there really is to say about Windsweeper. A uh, very cool figure, not the most exciting figure we've ever gotten from the Transformers Collectors Club subscription service. But um, he is meant mainly for a limb. And uh, the final product is uh, quite impressive. I'm very happy with it, especially with this thing hanging from his neck. So yeah, um, we're going to be getting bludgeon out of the way and then do the final subscription service video featuring Thunder Mayhem. Oh, no, no, we got to get Bludgeon out of the way and then Impactor and his secret guy. Like, you don't know who it is. So, yeah. Um, until next time, I will see y'all later.